Some superheroes wear a mask like this. Some superheroes and ninjas wear a mask like this. You can be a superhero by wearing a mask like this. Thanks, Lydia, for your help with demonstrating masks. I'm Dr. Mel St. Germain, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about masks and why we wear them and how we wear them the right way. So you've been staying home a lot lately, more than usual, and that's to keep everybody healthy and keep everybody from getting germs. But sometimes you might have to leave the house, whether that's to go to the doctor's office or maybe to go to the store. And so we're gonna talk about how you can keep yourself healthy if you have to leave the house, and that is by wearing masks. So the germs that make us sick like to live in our mouth and in our nose and on our hands too, because we touch things that have germs on them. So to keep ourselves from getting sick, we wear the mask over our mouth and our nose to make sure that our germs don't get out and that nobody else's germs get in. And so you may have seen some different kinds of masks um, if you've been out of the house recently. And so we're gonna show you a couple of different masks today and how to wear them. Some people have cloth masks like this that you can wear and then wash and then wear again. Um, you want to make sure that if you have a mask like this, you wash it every time. And this one has a special top piece that goes over your nose so it fits better and goes over your ears like that. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to hear people talk when you have a mask on like this, but it keeps all the germs out of your mouth and nose. If you don't have a cloth mask like that and you have to come to the doctor's office, then you might get a paper mask when you get there. So Lydia is gonna come help me show how to put these masks on the right way. So Lydia, come right on over here. Now, the most important thing with putting the mask on is we wanna make sure we have clean hands and a clean mask. So we're gonna do sanitizer. Yep, in between the fingers, thumbs. There we go, all right. And then we're gonna take our clean mask. And you can see this one has cute little Mickey Mouse on it. It's got a wire in the top part that goes over your nose and kind of goes down toward your nose to keep the mask tight on your face. And then this part doesn't have a wire on it, okay? So when we put the mask on, we grab it by these loops that go around the ears. And we put it around the ears. And then we're gonna stretch it so that it covers your whole mouth and your whole nose. And then, we're gonna take this little wire part and we're gonna squish it down a little bit so that it stays tight against your nose, okay? So now we've got the nose covered and the mouth covered, right? Comfortable? Yeah. Now here's the other most important part. Once the mask is on, don't touch it. Don't touch the mask, don't touch your mouth, don't touch your nose, okay? Because you can have germs on the outside of the mask and you don't wanna get those on your hands and we don't wanna to touch our mouths and nose because we don't want the germs to come out of our mouth and nose, okay? It's hard. It feels funny, doesn't it? Sometimes it gets in your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah, and it feels weird on your nose, but don't touch it. So then we wanna leave that mask on the entire time that you're at the doctor's office, and then once you're back in your own car, then you can sanitize your hands, and then you can take off the mask, Right? And then generally these paper ones, we're just gonna throw them away when we're done, right? And mom and dad can help you do that. And then you sanitize again once you've touched that mask. Good job. All right, that's how to wear the mask properly. And that's why we wear them, to keep those germs away. Thanks guys.